Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in TNO The Last of You're playing as Magnitogorsk, led by the very sane, normal, totally rational, Trofim Lysenko. But if you like to about that Magnitogorsk itself, please go ahead. Um, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of science stuff we're doing here. A lot of science. Very, I'm so good at science, I know everything about science. You ask me any question, I can definitely tell you an answer. So, yeah, push the limits of science and try to create a new Soviet man. Onwards, my friends, but we're doing a Black Mountain Awaits. Or Awaits, memorandum dot A1. From Director Daddy Lysenko, to all security scientists and supervisors personnel currently operating in all facilities of Magnitogorsk and the surrounding regions, content. All personnel be advised regarding imminent intensification of industrial and operational activity. For a list of industrial facilities that must be brought back into full efficiency within the period of the next three months, or stand time. For an industrial reactivation orders, paragraph 2, all research facilities are to be immediately brought back into operational status and KBD security personnel will be tasked to implement corrective measures. In case of production and efficiency quotas described on document 1, 112.a are not met. Memorandum over. So unlock new army professional decisions. You get a lot more political power in cities. Yeah, what's the next one? Remove obstructions. Community key 17.c to Lieutenant Colonel or uh, Lieutenant Governor or uh, General, I should say, Stepan Bunkov. Content. All NKVD personnel are hereby ordered to immediately carry out the elimination of all subjects indicated in Left 66, subsections 3, former civilian administrators, 5, inefficient personnel, and 17 potential disruptive elements. NKVD security personnel are authorized to utilize lethal force in the pursuit of their duties should the subjects or anyone else attempt to obstruct or to delay the operation. The bodies of eliminated subjects must be handed over to the Anatomical Research Subcommittee for future experimentation or use in agricultural optimization. Director Lysenko will oversee the appointment of a new personnel to staff the, the positions left vacant. Community Key 17.C over. Speech on Industrial Productivity. Comrade Lysenko's speech, annual industrial productivity summit, or redacted date, or redacted location, Strangheim. Figures corroborated by Industrial Research Committee, compiled by year reference, volume 13, addendum 15.e.7. An increase in mining productivity to the sum of 250 tons of steel a month, the mass amounts a total increase of 750 tons of steel in three months, split across three, 33 mines in operational territory. The Research Committee and its associated organizations appreciate this increase and thank all involved and hope to see a proportionate increases in, hereby, in activity hereby after. The committee records increased activity in the industrial operation domain as well. The opening of an industrial optimization facility to the south southeast of Magnitogorsk, Magnitogorsk Central Complex, the address of which is contained in the public administration records, volume 7. Yes, Fyodor, I am aware of this abnormality of lack of time. The complex will be operated by a, primal, a primary asset of civilian manufacturing individual 47530298, civilian name Dmitry Voroshilov. The committee expects increases of the maximum possible magnitude of work produced by civilian production assets. All teams are to be organized in groups of four and report to a senior workman, who will in turn report to a factory leader. Please refer to page 7 of your brochures for memoranda on factory organization on to concluding remarks. We know that there has been a rise of cases and pollutant-related fatalities by 23.75% this quarter. We expect such numbers to rise as efforts in industrial concentration continue. Workplace-related fatalities are also rising. It is to be noted that of these fatalities, 43.95% are recorded as involving the loss of a hand or limb. Please refer to the last page of your brochures for fatality charts or possible research opportunities. Such an increase is proportionate with our projections. And right now, uh, we have the stuff here. So, while the NKVD serves our, as our security forces and the muscle for our experiments, our relationship is not exactly a perfect one. Rumors have come to the attention of Comrade Lysenko on the Central Committee that as all elements exist within the 22nd Motor Rifle Division. They must be kept under our control or we will risk everything that we've worked and come to work Magnitogorsk for. If the loyalty is not too high, we can bribe soldiers, uh, we can persecute officers as well, and then stack the bureaucracy, but the army readiness, of course. Isolated in Magn Magnitogorsk, our army finds itself large and well-equipped, but without any many proper training opportunities. With the hero guard on the border, surely preparing an invasion at any moment, ensuring a properly drilled and ready force is to be designed a paramount priority. Our army may be sizable, but the training of our individual soldiers has recently been lacking. Army readiness is 4%. Currently, army drilling is 5%. Recruit local assets. We have more manpower. Decrease drilling and... Oh. Loyalty by 10, huh? Okay, training on the border. Increased by 2. That's 100 political power. Better army preparations. Wow, that sucks. Cost 3 army drilling. Uh, military readiness. Training on the border. Uh, let's see what happens when we take this one. So 6 and 6. So this one increases army readiness. Cost 6 army drilling. Dis oh, this increases disloyalty by 3, which I don't like. So probably the 6 is the way to go, right? Uh, so if you spend 9, you get 6. You get 4. So 
two, four. We spend nine, three more, you get six. So it goes up by two every single time. But you also get more disloyalty, which doesn't make any sense. It costs nine army drilling as well. So that doesn't make any sense to do. You want to do considerable army preparations. Increases army readiness by eight. Increases disloyalty by more. So like that's the way to go. So maybe army drilling doesn't really matter. We need more army readiness. And insanity is 70%. And of course, we can hopefully raid some people eventually. Uh, do I really want to raid Dovanga? These guys don't look super strong. I definitely don't want to fail here. Oh, actually. Oh, if you guys... I'm sorry, these guys. They look like they mostly have militia and cavalry. And these guys are... We only have three motorized divisions. But they're actually 20 combat with, with our support artillery. So that's actually not too bad. So we'll see. Scavenge for loot. Yes, please. And then we'll probably go with equipment. Yeah. So we got to keep an eye on command and power. But armament plan C. To brave out the storm, we must equip our forces. More equipment. Combat ready, preparation readiness. Um, what else do we have here? Land auction I like a lot. Drill. Reduce drill and readiness by 5. Uh, infantry equipment production might not be bad either. Let's do armament plan C then. Memorandum.22.b. Or content. All supervisor, supervisory. Oh my goodness. I cannot speak today. All supervisory personnel and industrial facilities be advised regarding imminent enactment of armament plan C and related subprojects. Refer to armament plan C or files for information regarding the scope and details of the plan. All requests for necessary supplies and warfare should be directed towards the Resource Logistics Committee for review and approval by process. Full productive efficiency will be required. All obstacles should immediately be reported to the Central Directorate or the, to the NKBD security personnel and will result in full personal review. Memorandum ends. I need more political power, huh? Oh, god dang it. Someone's already raided them. God dang it. I don't want to raid those guys. Actually, how strong is Dolvanga? But irregular tendencies. Something we won't need to talk about. Oh, they need more divisions. Um, I don't think we'll actually be able to win against Dolvanger. I don't think we would be able to. Uh, classified Files, Internal Examination Department, Psychology Dep Division, Research Committee, uh, Subdivision. Redacted. Our subject is displaying worrying tendencies as per indicators in our psychological health assessment. Details in the chart below, of course. And further observation with corrective actions to be taken if possible is recommended. Responses. Demonstrating the last 14-day period analysis and attached documents for reference. Juxtaposed against the normal psychological emotional response chart. Uh, <coughs> demonstrate fluctuating and sometimes worrying low levels of relative sanity. Subject is now displaying occasional outbursts of unstable and irrational behaviors, including but not limited to. Outbursts of subordinates, the use of physical force on close colleagues and sudden liquidation of subordinates whose case files cannot be attached here due to the new Damnatio Memorai policies suggested by the committee at Comrade Lysenko's express orders. Observations. Saying possible personal level intervention is suggested by this author. Comrade Lysenko is not performing well and can be expected to perform at suboptimal levels in all levels of conceptual research and execution of administrative duties and possibly risk a lapse into full-scale psychological chaos. Please send this memorandum to the NKBD sub-department, uh, Strangeheim, for refer reference and possible, possible Strangeheim. Worrying news. Uh, that's really bad. Wait, we're losing weekly change. So, uh, okay, so we'll go back to zero. Lose some research speed. And right now, because, like, Senko Sanity's high, so we get plus 0.5. We still get some more, but I'm not going to touch it yet. All right, you know what? That's why I saved um, while we're doing this. Uh, decrease drilling by 5. And do you, wait. You get 1,000 more manpower. I mean, we're going to need that. I don't want to... Well, actually, decreasing drilling is not bad. Decrease this loyalty by a little bit. Uh, that would be actually terrible to do. We'll try it against those guys. You know what? Screw it. We don't have no drilling anyway, so whatever. Ah! So it could be worse. So we have the cycle sanity average, which is not bad. We have... Um, what is this? Very low NKVD influence. All right. We have mad scientists. Very cool. I get more max attrition. And loop of a terror bombing, which sucks. But, you know, that's pretty normal. That's pretty darn normal. Training on the board. Yes, please. <coughs> that extra manpower will definitely come in handy. Um, 72%, huh? He's going a little crazy. That's all right. They are training, so... If they reject us, we might be able to win very quickly. Oh, they paid the tribute. Oh, look at that. Nice. So now they might actually attack us training on the border. Um, I want to wait for that, maybe. I don't know how fast we're supposed to do this stuff, but... Excerpt of speech. Oh, 11% is pretty bad. Decrease by... Just let's do by 5%. Um, this costs 50 political power and 750 guns. Um, we get a lot of political power here, don't we, anyways? Um, how many guns do we have? We actually have quite a few guns. But we could probably do that one. That's probably fine. Governor Lesenko spoke at the annual officer's banquet, meal 2289. Uh, special meal calendar in the meal ca calendar. 
uh, a special contact catering subcommittee of the officer's organization for further information. Uh, transcript follows. Comrades, I speak to you on a matter of regional importance to the security of Magnitogorsk. Recently, I've heard rumors of unrest against my emergency general secretaryship. And as a rightful member of the Soviets, it const constitutes our state currently in reconstruction. I will not allow this treasonous behavior under the Republic's watch, nor will my countrymen today. Fellow men and women who pledge allegiance to Marx, I call you forward. I call you forward to stand by me as I read of this. Rid us of these men who plot to destroy our utopian society of science. Those who wish to tarnish our legacy will not be given a place in our society. Those who wish to destroy our way of life will not be given a place in our society. We must rid ourselves of these cowards of science, these abominations of religiosity. End of excerpt. Immediately following speech detail above, let's anger dispose, see corpse disposal procedures and body disposal handbook or contact corpse disposal subcommittee for information and disposal of multiple high officials. Several were transferred to new capacities, test subjects, and various experiments. Refer to subject conversion subcommittee for documentation. Excerpt of speech.7 BC over. Combat readiness, preparation readiness. Community Key 32.i. Much of the Magnitogorsk economy is oriented towards civilian output. While the armed forces are demobilized, immediate mobilization should begin as soon as possible. In the case of war, the armed and civilian forces will be ready to serve the full power of the outbreak. The defense of the state is of top priority. Contact the Subcommittee of War Readiness for further information. Community Key 32.i over. Nice. Cool. I think we're doing okay. Sanity is 72%, but that eh, can't get much worse, right? All right. Tell looking at. I was trying to build up a road. Literally just one road here. But yeah. Nikolai, not bad. I wanted to fight these guys, but whatever. I want to fight these guys too, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, now that, now that we've loot, some people might try to raid us. Army readiness, actually, army readiness. Does that help us? No, it doesn't seem like it really helps us. Like well, it could hurt us. Um, let's see. Poverty's getting worse, which sucks, whatever. Nothing we can do about that right now. <coughs> Agriculture research facilities, academic base is going up slightly. Equipment, expertise, professionalism, nuclear research. Oh, an ultimatum. From Kostanai. Which I think is a group over here, right? Yeah. We got more than enough fuel. We will not back down so easily. Yes, yes, yes. Come and attack us. We did get some more entrenchment. We do have plus two entrenchment. Oh boy, hopefully we can win here. Um, uh, trading on the border. If you're drilling by one, let's wait a little bit. Uh, let's go for loot, maybe. Enemies defeated. Nice. Good job, guys. Armament planning. One of the biggest weaknesses that our army has is a lack of an equipment and ammunition to fight the Euro League and the Orenburg Commune. This is also coupled with the fact that we even have to ask the bandits of Delvanga's brigade for help. The fact has been an utter embarrassment for the proud scientists, with war coming ahead. Uh, <clears throat> NKVD commanders, along with the Lysenko, have come up with Armament Plan C as the newest armament plan alongside the highly censored plans A and B. Armament Plan C, unlike the past plans, will be made known to all soldiers in order for them to work together. Plan C will ensure that every soldier within the NKVD is not only able to fire their weapons, but also make their own weapons in order to be the best army in the Southern Urals. Every battalion will be required to work to make weapons together. Lysenko's reasoning is not only to make the best soldiers, but to make the best camaraderie and strength and efficiency as they work together in the ideal Soviet Unionism. Armament Plans A and B are will be Lysenko's main plans, of which only the highest officers in the NKVD know. He has demanded that they, any, if any officers break censorship and have these plans leaked, they will be subjected to experimentation and then executed for treason after their tongues are cut out. As Lysenko sees it, everything must be a, a go according to plan, or else morale will fall apart. Plan C is the ultimate choice. Training on the border. Kitties is not their thousand man manpower. We must do this one first, because why not? We have no drilling anyways, so thank you. Extra thousand manpower comes in handy, not gonna lie. So if it's supply cash searches, our predecessors have left us untouched arsenals to plunder, and all we have to do is find them. We mix up your training. You know what? Screw it. I think ew, we get more army drill, though. You know, let's do this one first. Army drill and army readiness by five. Oh, that sucks. I should have saved this stuff then. Yeah, it's only... F oh, that's going to suck. We might as well get this one done first. Force weaponry integration. Community key 16.b from Comrade Lysenko's office. Regarding weapons trainings among frontline units, analysis of uh, logistical difficulties presented by region of operation have made it necessary to prepare soldiers to work with the materials collected during their duties. The combat efficacy of our field operatives will be significantly increased if they were to instruct it on the operation and maintenance of a more diverse array of weapons and then those that will be initially equipped with. This will incentivize the use of captured armaments in the event that their issued weapons are disabled and cannot be properly repaired or replaced, likely candidates for the expansion program include modified hunting rifles commonly wielded by the Euro Guard, outdated German weaponry carried by majority of Dovanga Brigade, and old Soviet arms, while still in using communes around Ormberg. While these weapons are all of inferior design to those produced in Magnitogorsk, they are widely available in the field. Our soldiers shall be instructed on how to most effectively utilize them, if they must. Because we have to do that one, so. Um, offensive strategy would not be bad, we have no tanks though, so. Uh, we might use some infantry here, just because we get more 
because we don't get the bonus of like infantry defense and organization so we'll see what happens this one i usually go down but it's usually proven to be pretty darn good for us so leg infantry gets more attack and defense you better motorize so what's the difference between these two actually i never really looked at the difference early motorized versus basic motorized so hardness goes up a little more same reliability so higher production costs it's a little faster use the same fuel other than that not much else okay maybe that was a waste then whatever NKVD dissatisfaction. 12%? Oh boy. The Dissenter. The Central Planning Committee was made aware of a young officer and otherwise faithful NKVD. We've been spreading foul lies regarding our experiments as part of the Super Sold Out program, amongst others. The full claim that there have been no survivors and that's all for naught. The traitor's death has already been arranged, of course, though in all of our years, none have been so boldly malicious to speak out against it in this matter. There can be no dissent. What cause it meant it? 70%? Oh, that sucks. That's better. Okay, I want to wait to see if we can attack anyone else. Oh, there we go. We can do agricultural stuff. Okay, why not? Why not? Still get 1.5 every single day, so. I don't know. For this type of campaign, I don't mind using consequence if I have to. These are, yeah, these are mountains. Or, yeah, I'm not attacking the mountains. That's as much as I want to. Our gut divisions aren't fully, fully, fully ready to go, so, yeah. And two men's been raided as well, so we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Community key 198.b. High Command has initiated overhaul of training programs. Versatility programs will improve combat effectiveness in mountain environments, urban environments, forest environments. Immediate funds should be transferred to Chernibevsky. Combat teams will be reorganized and trained in, retrained in 10 days. Any combat training deaths are to be reported to the War Accident Subcommittee. Refer to War Accident Subcommittee for more information on training injuries. Refer to recent memo 211.63 on new training techniques to increase trooper effectiveness. Refer to Mountain Combat Handbook for information on combat in mountainous areas. Refer to Urban Warfare Handbook for information on combat in urban areas. Refer to Forest Combat Handbook for information on combat in wooden areas. Our soldiers must be ready for anything. Actually, do we have anything else here yet? No. And up here. So now it's... Oh, actually, 25%. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty good. Look at that. Loyalty is now... Oh, boy. It's 7%. I saw 25%. I'm like, oh, my goodness. We have 5 army XP. She's drilling by 6. Um, Honestly, I'd prefer to get, like, engineers on it, guys, maybe. Do we change some infantry? Do we have any support equipment? No, we don't. We have infantry, but we, we literally have no support equipment, so we can't even make any. Um... Go and do that. Why not? Army drilling is good. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Why did I do that? Oh, well, my bad. Uh, uh. You know what? Maybe I'll go back and make sure we don't make a mistake like that. Force weapon reintegration. Community key 289.b. Following recent complaints regarding accidents occurring when utilizing poorly maintained weapons, especially the Katabina 98k and Mosin Nagana variants, as well as poorly maintained grenades and other explosives produced prior to the Great Patriotic War, new measures will be taken. A new training program under the name of the Force Weapon Reintegration Training we Regimen, or the Afwitter, will begin as soon as possible, instructing combat personnel on the function and proper maintenance of weapons not exclusively produced in our borders. Refer to small arms handbook for a list of rifles produced before the Great Patriotic War. Troops will be issued rifles and explosive devices not produced with a Magnitogorsk. They will be instructed on primary and secondary uses of the set of small arms, on the operation and maintenance of said small arms, on the ammo type and use of these small arms. Refer to the sub subcommittee on the military and readiness and use of unorthodox weaponry in case of armed conflict for more information and query on the new program. Refer to the civilian officer of national readiness for information on mobilization of government resources to produce unconventional arms. We must make use of everything in mimic Soviet training. Community Key 12.f Pre Great War or Pre Great Patriotic War Red Army tactics emphasize the role of operational level planning and deep battle strategies against the enemy. These military doctrines have been deemed indispensable by High Command. See Soviet Military Doctrine Handbook or contact High Command Representative Office for supplementary information. New training programs will teach these doctrines and build upon them to build an army that works for the state while upholding traditions of national defense. Community 12 over. Whoopsie. Oh well, I accidentally pressed enter, which is my bad, but increase army drill. So right now we are at. Ooh, scavenge for loot. Maybe do a little bit of a raid over here, maybe, perhaps. And we are now at 3% army drilling and 20% army readiness, which is not bad, not great. And disloyalties at 3% should be paid. Thank you very much. Now we're probably going to get raided ourselves. Uh, Warlord development and uh, his sanity is at 64%. So it's, 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 it's here somewhere. 
Extraction regime. Uh, let's go ascend supply production planning. Community key 45.d. Current industrial production is declining at a rapid rate. See industrial production rates and GDP growth of prior four years on page four. See economics compendium for information on industrial production rates. Soviet economists of Magnitogorsk held a meeting two weeks after on how to bring industrial production rates back to stable pre secession levels. After auditing industrial overseers, see industrial command structure in the industry compendium as well as historical information in the USSR industrial command structures and privatization efforts. The Magnitogorsk economists concluded that a number of overseers were not fit for the positions they held and would rather perhaps better serve as material or test subjects and coming experiments on mentally ill and unfit persons. These overseers will be replaced by a new committee to oversee and increase industrial productivity. Community Key 34.C over. All commanders within the 22nd uh, Motor Rifle uh, rifle Division, and any associate auxiliary forces are to be immediately altered training regiments to meet specifications within this document. Doing so will ensure the ideological, physical, and genetic superiority of our future soldiers. These alterations will bring the division's training regiment in line with that employed by the Soviet Union prior to the Great Patriotic War, with some alterations in order to accommodate the new discoveries of Comrade Lysenko. All infantry and training will be required to spend no less than two months before being drilled on paper, proper combat procedure of these two months. Two weeks are be de to be dedicated specifically to training with advanced weaponry. This is to prevent any further incidents of improperly trained troops mishandling or damaging valuable military equipment. All field officers are to spend an additional month of being trained in how to command their soldiers in a variety of combat in non-combat situations. Topics to be covered will include leading raids, acquiring test subjects, scouting unknown territory, defending research sites, and others to be detailed in further community keys. Test subjects who have been de designated for combat re training will be subjected to this new regiment as well as any ongoing experiments they are taking part in. In the event that the requirements of an experiment conflict with part of the standard training regiment, the experiment shall take priority. This includes denying living essentials to s test subjects in training, issuing prototype weapons to test subjects in training, and inducing the copulation of test subjects in training. Field officers are now permitted to use capital punishment should they deem it necessary. Infractions considering deserving of capital punishment include but are not limited to deserting a post, disobeying the order of a superior officer, compromising the integrity of an experiment, and inspiring cowardice or disloyalty among the men. Any instances of capital punishment must be reported and frivolous use of it may result in demotion or reassignment. The union did not fall due to their tactics. We'll just put it bluntly. And Soviet supply cache research, community key 80.a, former Red Army arsenals are scattered across southern Ural territory as see supplementary lists provided. Dating from the Great Patriotic War, these arsenals store a large amount of weapons and ammo in near perfect condition, high command, has decided to begin excavating, cataloging, and distributing these weapons to troops in the armed forces. Efforts in this capacity are to begin immediately. Contact subcommittee of excavation and restoration for supplementary information about efforts. And screw it, these guys are only 12 combat with, but you know what, we're going to need at least a few infantry divisions here, probably. Could be wrong about that, but probably not. New schools? Uh, research facilities? Ah, oh, we'll do schools because we want more education here. Totally. Um, decrease army drilling by 5%. Drilling on the border. Well, let's wait a little bit first. We're at 3.5%, so that's not bad at all. Uh, anything else down here? We need more army XP. We could train our guys indefinitely, but that's not going to be very beneficial for us. We could use a manpower, though. But I don't want to hurt our drilling at all. So, Civil Rights Act, very cool. Re repaired redoubt systems. Uh, we got that anyways. Do it anyways, because you can. Training on the border. And then Extraction Team Training Regime. <coughs> cool. The Supply Production Planning Committee. Change was such a fickle thing, especially in the technocratic realm of Lysenko and his entourage. Seemingly from one day to the next, the overworked and mistreated factory drones. The power of the scientist's small empire solved themselves. And the Soviet era capital they were working with completely reorganized and restructured. New guidelines, rules, and regulations. Away with the waste. Away with unnecessary breaks. Away from, with mismanagement logistics. Set of new orders from the former NKVD guards to begin to work them worse than any nightmare story they had been told by the child of besides, or bedsides of any old days of emperors and tsars. As one wave of workers was permitted to go home once their torturous ship was done, another was brought in with solemn broken faces. The thick cancer smog, now never retreating from the city no matter the time of day, was beginning to have its effects too. Some wondered if this was what to be felt like to be exploited by the Germans, a thought whose utterance would land you a one-way ticket to the mountain complex they all toiled for. This great restructuring of the industry that was proving to be the lifeline of the work, of his work, had been conceived by the ominous technocrat who ruled almost like the great dictators of the West, moving the populace around like his little chess pieces, maximizing potential value from the vast array of former scientists that Lysenko had brought with him to Magnogorsk. Magnitogorsk. A small official minority had now been chosen to head the Supply Production Planning Committee. These management and industry experts were in the process of radically transforming the industrial output of the still ruined city with as many factories and plants, with the intent that all necessary factors of production for their unbalanced economy, whether that be land capital or most importantly labor, could be utilized the utmost. Whatever they may cause, innovation and progress were only the things that concerned the former Soviet intelligentsia. Efficiency is absolutely vital, my friends. Oh, look at that. You're leaving? No, thank you. 
Get away to other stuff. I don't want to do this one because I want to get more drilling and stuff, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait. Community Key 25.B from Conrad Lysenko's office. Recent attacks upon troops by future and prospective subjects. See attached information. Has led to the creation of new training groups. The Subject Extraction Coordination Group, or SECG, which will overhaul unit subject materials, extraction training, and expand the training program to combat every to every combat and unit troop. See the Daily Bulletin for further information on the Subject Extraction Coordinating Group, SECG. Community Key 25.B, over. There we go. Let's do it again. Training on the border. Might as well, so we can get some more uh, drilling here, so. We'll see what we can do. I want them to say that they're going to fight us, and I want to win. They have 20,000 manpower. They have only three divisions like us, so. We should be able to win. Community Key 07.J. Investigation of Magnetogorsk armory storage facilities and subsequent testing of equipment discovered within is indicated that weapons stored within protection, protected areas, depots, armories, caches prior to the collapse of the USSR remain in working condition for the most part. Out of 320 recovered Mosin-Nagant 31-30 rifles, see weapon profile summary 1-C, 278 were still usable and the remainders required only minor maintenance to be restored. Though not as well preserved, ammo within the armory still remained usable, with a survey estimating that of the 4500 7.62x4 54 millimeter rounds recovered, 3,200 or so usable. Operating under the assumption that the conditions of the Magno Magnitogorsk arsenal are similar to those of other Soviet-era weapons caches, it is probable that there are large numbers of functional military-grade weapons and support equipment unaccounted for within our territory. Location and retrieval of these items has been made Class B priority, see priority ranking document, and teams have been dispatched to the likely locations, see accompanying map below, to search for the depots. Soviet records on file, especially document 45380, report on military installations on in the southern Ural region, and by the 1938 Army Census has been used as primary information resources to determine probable caches, though it is important to note that the data nature of these sources, see Addendum 1. Scavenger other regions? Oh, crap. I don't know which one we're going to see and do, but let's do the Central Regions? Northern Regions? Oh, let's do the Northern Regions. I'll try it out. Why not? And, of course, we can scavenge for loot, because we love loot here. We love looting, looting their booties. And, after this one, the enemy my enemy. Community Key 38.B, Security Clearance A, recently Oscar Delvanga and his bandit group, which goes by the name Delvanga Brigade, has shown increased aggression against both the Euro League and the peasant communes of Ormberg. Well, they could possibly capitalize on this aggression by proposing an alliance. Much of the current threat posed to us is from the Euro League. A temporary ally, whether fascist or not, would help us repel this proto-state. Community Key 09.B. Recent missions to the Soviet cache arsenals, uh, caches and arsenals have uncovered some uh, <coughs> stores of military equipment, though not nearly initially as esti much as estimated. Several hundred guns and a few thousand rounds of ammo have been recovered, referred to the attached unit report at the end of this document for exact numbers and specifications, and are being sent to Magnitogorsk to be issued to the army. The primary causes of the low returns are weather damage and exposed caches, and stolen supplies that were probably taken shortly after the collapse of the Soviet Union. For a list and map of breached military locations, please see the attached report. Comrade Lysenko scheduled a meeting with the officers responsible for the searches to thank them for their efforts and has ordered a review of the predictive processes that overestimate the amount of recoverable supplies. See Predictive Algorithm Procedures Summary. The weapons that have been recovered will be proving useful in keeping our field operators well equipped in the event of an un unanticipated production delay. Community Key 09 with that be ends. I got 3200 more units of guns is not bad. And have we won? My friends, we have had a successful raid. Training Regiment for Extraction Methods. Community Key 354.C Recent developments in a number of rural villages and settlements referred to attachment page 45 for supplementary information have resulted in the death of approximately 14 civilians, the injury of 28 civilians, and the death of two troopers. Immediately following trooper entry into the settlement number 87, refer to attachment page 45, civilian test subjects gathered makeshift weapons, including but not limited to a flintlock musket, a pitchfork, a 1911 shashka, a butcher's knife, cast iron pots and pans, and proceeded to assault troopers in uncoordinated attack. During the attack, two troopers were killed, first as a result of a knife injury to the upper chest, second as a result of blunt injury to the head. Self-defense actions by troopers resulted in the death of 14 civilians and injury of 28 others. Bodies. All civilians were then burned in a large grave, referred to attachment page 46 for supplementary information. Complaints filed to the subcommittee on extraction deaths have led to a coordinated effort with the Committee on Readiness of the Nation to resolve the issue and guarantee lack of further in incidents. A new training program dubbed Subject Extraction Coordination Group will introduce a new training program designed to increase trooper effectiveness in subject extraction and reduce subject casualties. Subjects are essential for our work. As we're doing the enemy by enemy, of course, if you want to reread that again, please go to head. Uh, synergistic co cooperation solutions. All right, not bad. Fortification productions charter. The mountain must be impenetrable. A super sold out. Uh, I kind of want to do this one. I want to see what we can do this one, just in case. Community 8.B from Comrade Lysenko's office has announced the immediate implementation of the Fortification and Production Charter. Forces and resources are to be directed to specific areas to see fortification priorities in Section 2CA, where construction shall begin under the supervision of assigned technicians. Community over. Nice. 
Because I want to build, build, build as much as possible. Just make sure that our defense is extremely strong. Like, ridiculously strong. Um, as much as I want to help these guys out, but still, we'll see what happens. Reduce. Oh, that's not bad. Our enemy's enemy. With the assistance of the 2nd, uh, 22nd Motor Rifle Division, Les Singles has been conducting a lot of research into the false adaptation and evolution of the human genome, utilizing the resources of the Magno Magnetogarsk region. This research has been deemed vital to the reclamation of our vanquished motherland. The Euro Guard is annoyingly attempting to obstruct our research efforts by hindering acquisition teams, preventing them from retrieving the necessary test subjects in order for their vital experimentation. To continue its schedule, this obstacle must, of course, be removed. A 22nd Motor Rifle Division carries superior equipment compared to the Guard, but predictive exercises indicate that our forces have sufficient, insufficient numbers to launch a sustained offensive against the Euro League. One possible method of augmenting the number of troops at our disposal is diplomacy. An alliance with the Dovanga Brigade seems the most likely solution if this route is pursued. The Brigade is highly undisciplined and unpredictable, yet they do possess a numerical superiority over every other force in the region. They should have enough men at their disposal to defeat the Euro League, especially if our units are acting in support. Intelligence indicates that Dovanga's primary goal is to loot Orenburg, but harassment by the Euro Guard has prevented them from cheating us. The elimination of the Euro Guard would be mutually beneficial to our two parties. If the course of action is not desired, there is an alternative. Lysenko believes Dovanga and his men will be interesting su test subjects if captured alive. Much viable information could be gathered from experiments conducted upon them. We can lead Dovanga into a vulnerable position under false pretense and, se and secure him while the guard is down. We don't work with scum. Let's watch him closely. I want to see what happens. Let's watch him closely. Um, West Siberian People's Republic. Oh, we have to go to where these guys do. Oh, take over in Levant. Very nice. So we got, uh, Mario here. Mario. Any map power? Yes, I do. Wait for these guys to get some more stuff in strength first. Um. Yeah, I just don't want to fight the Euro League. They're going to be very tough to crack, so. Uh, SVV. Increase our army effectiveness by 28.76%. More political power. I get a thousand more infantry equipment, which is nice as well. Limited force integration. Diplomatic Community Key 337.G.4. Reports for the diplomatic facility, classified at classification status 3A, unauthorized access will be punished by liquidation of transgressors and families. Strategic Research Initiative Study Group recommends establishment of material diplomatic ties with redacted. Research summarized in addendum 12.B.2 demonstrates the main traits of redacted, assets mainly military in nature, a little indication of permanent civilian infrastructure. Research in progress indicates our advanced industrial facilities are a potent asset. Ammo, supplies, and weaponry are all judged to be of primary importance to the redacted senior staff can be supplied through a complex production change in exchange for territorial loyalty. Probable projections of our efforts in terms of material exchange and diplomatic loyalty are being tracked by the Long-Term Diplomatic Efforts Research Group and reports regarding this issue are being compiled at present. Editors know compiled and filed under addendum 15.g.7. Camp Redacted, believed to be the main con concentration of military economic activity and a strategic planning facility of moderate importance, has been sent an envoy on Redacted to be accompanied by, by one guard and three commissars. Security head Redacted has been informed of Protocol 907B concerning information safeguarding techniques in the event of hostile capture, non-armed targets, i.e. envoy. Redacted are to be terminated first, followed by guards, and then self determination. Self termination. With all valuable weaponry, this protocol applies to personnel attempting to flee. The committee expects positive results. Hold off until setting up, setting up further diplomatic channels until further expeditions are carried out. Use materials gained in future expeditions. Might as well. B O U. Where's this one? Uh, land for construction speed. I just want to make sure that we are ready for whatever happens here. Uh, what lowers uh, drill and stuff like that? Increase drill. Increase drill. Readiness. Even more max entrenchment. Defense. Um, let them come. Let's slip the hounds of war. A super soldat. Reduce drill by five. So let's get that one ready to get. Uh, already. So the elements will soon be conquered by Lysenko and lead us into a gl gl glorious golden age of Super Soldat. Community Key 8.C has been published from the office of Comrade Lysenko. The Community Key shared the success of initial experiments performed on test volunteers in the human Lamarckian project, proving once again the revolutionary glory of Comrade Lysenko's work. Further experiments will be performed with the levels 2B-C of restricted access to personnel of clearance 1C and below. Further volunteers for experiments should appear for inspection of 1A-A in the Magn Magnetogorsk Planning Center. Center. Community key ends. Community key 72.a. A diplomatic mission of the Dovanga Brigade Bandit Group has proven to be successful. <clears throat> 
Estimates of Oscar Delvanga's unpredictability has hit the power of ability, success, to a mere 50%. One comrade, uh, comrade uh, Lysenko, was he saw appropriate to take a risk on. A representative of the Delvanga Brigade, one redacted, has been sent in an ill-maintained truck, in a matter identical to our own. This behavior is noted to be due to the lack of diplomatic history from the Dovanga Brigade. The letter of approval from the Dovanga Brigade was notably written in a curious manner, seemingly penned on the opposite side of Comrade Lysenko's letter. The handwriting is remarkably consistent with studies on individual performance while intoxicated. Regardless, they will be used as a tool to aid in our destruction of the Euro League. Such a result will undoubtedly be beneficial to both Comrade Lysenko and the bandit leader Oscar Dovanga. Communications regarding weaponry and mutual tactics will begin shortly. Communication 72.a ends. Further re redactions required. Purification Charter. As enemies encroach upon our state and as our national security is threatened, I announce the Fortification Charter, designed to render our state impenetrable and our people safe. This is a series of plans and designs created by myself and the leading fortification experts in Magnitogorsk. The program will introduce a new series of pillboxes, arsenals, and traditional bunkers along our borders and at strategic points. Limited amounts of funds will be redirected from scientific endeavors, specifically sibling programs 2B and HUN program 3E, as well as military endeavors, specifically artillery advancement program 6H and chemical testing program 3B. The defense of the state and the people are of key importance. Last thing was ordered all generals in the High Command report to a conference on redacted. Public community key 488D dot over. Nice. Uh, loyalty is what? 1%. That's oh, actually really good. His sanity is now at 52%. Not bad. Not great. Not great at all. Uh, army drilling has to be nice. So keep going with this way for now, I suppose. Drill, drill, drill harder. We won't do this one yet. I don't want to reduce our drill until we get it, like, to zero. So, um, synerg synergistic cooperation solutions. Comrade Lysenko's office has relayed Communiqué 8.8, .A, which condenses the contents of the Synergistic Cooperation Solutions Planning Conference. <coughs> the result of the conference has outlined a number of alterations to current security procedures and training methods, which will improve the quality and flexibility of security. Implementation of these alterations is immediate and over. A total, I mean. Communiqué over. Come on, I just want to beat them up. That's all I want to do. I just want to beat the crap out of them, please. I want to beat the snot out of those suckers. I don't want to fight the Euro League. I just do not. They're going to be tough enough, and they don't have a really good decryption and stuff on them. So, really no point to do that. The Super Soldat. Uh, super Soldati. Objectivity is prized in our work, and particular objectivity is demanded in special circumstances. It is therefore necessary to admit that its persistent issues have been noted in our work. Resource extraction and production are dropping despite intensive harvesting and coercion techniques introduced on the provincial level. Refer to addendum 13.b.2 for detail. Reports of units slaughtered, or situated, not slaughtered, but situated, in Magn Get Magnitogorsk suggest that human capital in particular is being exploited beyond what it can bear, and research optimized policies will soon dictate a fallen population to unsustainable limits. Data from rural holdings corroborate this. No significant method is currently available to remedy this or replace it with externally derived resources as such. Research must be shifted in alternate directions. Had researcher Lysenko proposes an addendum 15.8.1, his new pro project, the Super Soldati. It will focus on developing the quality of our existing human resources for possible military use. All existing knowledge is to be delivered in reports of no more than 50 pages to the head office in these areas. Exposure to cyanide, effectiveness of sterilization and impregnation methods, violent tendencies and stimuli, and psychological manipulation refer to previous reports on formatting details. All who fail to deliver the reports on time will be deemed unworthy and unscientific. The head office recommends immediate liquidation in response or experimentation for those suited. Refer to addendum 4.c.3 for details on physical profiling. Finalized reports will be forthcoming at a later date. Objectivity breeds superiority. Science breeds strength. Um, I want to wait for them. Go BOU. Community 9.B from Comrade Lysenko's office has authorized the formation of the Bureau Oboronogo Upravilencia. Upravilenia. Defense Management Bureau under strict supervision of Comrade Lysenko and authorized fortification engineers. The Bureau will oversee all defensive construction and will immediately be given clearance for all encrypted documents of level 2 and below. Community over. Beautiful. Can we beat the crap out of him yet? Come on. Training on the border? Uh, no. God dang it. It's only 40%. It's definitely not there yet. Oh, he's got improved defense methods, which is pretty good, though. Oh, yes, to crisis. Very good. Very, very good. Never happens in TNL. That never happens. Oh, you're really exempt more stuff. Unless I bring people to the Republic, so. Okay. <clears throat> so now we should be able to rate him, right? Oh, they've been reading the past 90 days. And they don't have any treasure, too. God dang it. Well, I don't want to do that, so we'll see what happens. The B-O-U. 
prepare hostile attrition methods? Synergistic cooperation. When news came to the subordinates of Lysenko that a mutual pact would never be would be forged between the 36th Brigade and Magnitokarsk, objections quickly arose. Uh, ranking from skepticism of the trust afforded to discuss at allying with those who were once German invaders. Hearing of this commotion, the scientist took it to himself to explain his rationale. Let it not be misunderstood that there is such evidence, both theoretical and empirical, as to the scientific progress and strategic initiative this alliance can entail. Recall our early experience on the inherent cooperation of the collectivization of grain when fused together entails, and realize that this co-evolution does not only apply to plants but us human beings. We may have had disputes with them in the past years, but now we are united by our common goals of pacifying the Urals and puring, purifying the weakest of the Russian peoples. Our supply of resources will multiply, both human and artificial, and so will technological capacity and unprecedented surges in military supremacy. There was applause from most faithful scientists, though some were still sneered at the word. Espying this, Lysenko made his way to the unconvinced and whispered to them that once Orenberg and the League were eliminated, he had no plans to continue to humor the cordon guard dots. Let us see what these bandits have to offer. That's not bad. You know what? We're going to do this one just because uh, if they attack us, anyone attacks us, we do really well. If we deny our enemies of supply, then we can land the killing blow. Communicate 9. Deep. From the office of Comrade Lysenko, we outline immediate changes to the to made to access routes 1A-A through 3A-C that reduce the efficiency of hypothesized enemy supply lines. Long-term work will apply these same changes to access routes 3A-B through C 5C-B. Community key, of course, over. Okay, so now we can raid him. Get that loot, because I'm going to come for your booty. And we are going to raid it hard. Hard booty raids, man. Hard, hard booty raids if we can. They didn't lose that many guys, but I don't think they have that many guns. Yeah, they don't have very much. They got some, but not much. We, I, I prefer their anti-tank, honestly. If we could get their anti-tank, that'd be so much better. 8%. We need one more, so we can at least do comprehensive army preparation. Which, honestly, might be better to do army drilling over here. But, we'll see what happens. Shim them a little harder, too. Shell, 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 shell. Uh, yeah. That's really good to do. Readout preparations. More defense, and defensive core territory, more readiness. Our defense will be so great, no enemy will ever puncture it. Yeah, I want to wait for the drill. Actually, that's not too bad to do either. Let's see, actually, you can even know. Why do you pain me training on the border? Go for nine. There you go. Now we can at least do nine. You know what? We're going to do that one anyways. Because after that one, we'll do the PZS. Community Key 9.C from Comrade Lasenko's office has announced the success of the first experiments in the program Zemnego Soldata, Winter Soldier Program, with this the first steps of the conquest of man's physical weaknesses. With the expansion of this program, temporary research facilities have been set up at Magnitogorsk's peaks. See a temporary research facilities in Section 2A-B. Access to these facilities is restricted to clearance level 1A and 2A only. Community Key over. Reduce drill by 5, which, you know what? That's why we did it. Oh, what is this? Intensive army drilling. Increased army drilling by 12. Wow. Increased NKVD disloyalty by 5. But where are we with uh, disloyalty? 6.5. That's not bad. I'm not worried about that then. Give me your booty. It's made to be looted. The descent. Uh. Well, I'm going to buy that again. Please go ahead. What's your loyalty, huh? Bro. I'm not. Army XP is way too valuable for us to do. I'd rather just spend political power here. There you go. Oh, Russia. Very good. Acquirement of subjects. Oh, yes. Encrypted document 2F-E for personnel of level 2A and above. Comrade Lysenko has ordered an unrelenting operation to acquire subjects for further experiments. The necessity for more subjects is twofold. Firstly, the areas around Magnitogorsk lack sufficient subjects to escalate the experimental conditions. As the further depletion of human resources from our industrial base would limit the future expansion of our project. Secondly, Comrade Lysenko has expressed a specific interest in analyzing the genetic properties acquired by those subjects in the areas surrounding Magnet Magnitogorsk, with hopes that the harsh conditions endured by these subjects will yield valuable results in our experiments. Forces for this operation have been directed as of the production of this document. Encrypted document end. Ah, oh, yes. We can do it. Come on, we got it. We still have no anti-tanks. We can't even make any divisions, which sucks. Because don't motorized need anti-tank as well? Yeah, we do. So we can't even make this stupid division. Oh, we can force it out always, but still. <coughs> so we want to get through this focus first, and then we can increase army drill and stuff like that. Nice. Even more organization for our soldiers? Yes, please. Oh, get us some subjects, baby. Uralian subjects. Increased sanity. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, what is this? 
Ma oh, we lose 402 manpower. We will find and acquire subjects for expansion units in the local area. Okay, that's kind of okay with us, just because uh, we have no manpower. So, community key 52 to IB. Subject material extraction protocol B. Troopers will extract subjects from the Chelyabinsk Oblast, also a location of Magne Magnitogorsk. Under their effective and legal rule of the Soviet Union, see subject extraction handbook for further information in the attachment or attached page of the Chelyabinsk Oblast on page 5. Community key 52 to IB over. Nice. Exactly what we want to see. Scavenge for that looty booty. Going raid if you can. And a 40% is not too bad. 2.5 is not great. But with 20... Three, nine, twelve. So for five army XP, you get up to three. Between this one, you get up to three. Honestly, it makes more sense to do this one repeatedly, but since we're here anyways, do that one. There you go. Forty-eight percent. Or if you distribute, good, good, good. Give us some army XP, baby. Maximize that thing out. Should be able to win. I guess only one division was... Two divisions are now fighting. Three divisions are now fighting. Ah, successful raid, my friends. A successful raid, as it should be. Treasure! Hey, more political power. Awesome. Stack the bureaucracy. 75%, huh? Uh, do that one. There you go. Euralian subjects. Urban subjects. Yes, 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 yes. We would love to have more subjects. Stepan Bukonov? Bunkov. Absolutely. Acquirement of subjects, yes please. Oh, we can't do that one? Oh, wait. Oh, we own that area. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we're going to acquire local subjects, right? Yes. Well, that sucks we have to own one of these following places. Hitlerheim, huh? Require bandit subjects. Oh, we can't do this one either? Oh, that sucks. We need Orsk. Alright, so after that one, read out preparations. Get some more defense. Communicate 9.d from the office of Comrade Lysenko is assigned locations for readout preparations. See fortification locations in section 2a a. The preparations will allow specific forces to relocate and refortify in the event of any breach of the initial defensive line. Communicate. Over. Oh, look at this. Subjects. Ooh. Thank you. Fortification building. Um, get more attack. I do like that one too. Attrition preparations. Communicate to N.D. from the Office of Comrade Lysenko has decreed the implementation of secondary access routes to be used in the event of a breach in the initial defensive line, which will allow for far more effective hindrance of any pursuit. These secondary access routes are of restricted access to all personnel of clearance 2C and below, unless authorized by the BOU or Comrade Lysenko. Communicate over. Very nice. All right, even more. So, army readiness is doing fine for now. Whatever. Uh, that's okay, too. Like, sanity's at a cool 39%. We have a lot of subjects. Subjects is a common shorthand for prisoners, volunteers, or otherwise who are able to participate in various scientific experiments. Oh, my apologies. I want to say first real quick. My bad. Oh, 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 oh. Anyways. Um... Uh, by the Anatomical Research Subcommittee. Acquiring subjects is a top priority for these experiments, especially in the Programma Zimnego Sodata. Subject acquisition in Magnet Magnitogorsk is still possible, but would negatively impact defense and industrial production. Subject extraction from the surrounding areas is therefore required. Extraction missions or restoring control over the general area around Magne Magnitogorsk will provide us with what we needed. <sighs> yes. Limit rationing testing. Some subjects will be rendered unrecoverable by the experiments. Increased sanity, increased disloyalty. Language deprivation, endurance death, child upbringing. Ooh. Drug testing. Ooh. Wait, so this increase sanity. Re increase this loyalty. Remove low NKVD influence. Wait, remove and get it back. Uh, so we get that back. You know what? I want psychic testing. Um, you know what? These are all nice. I want to go, go big or go home. I want 700 subjects to start with. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Let's see how many subjects we can actually acquire. We only have 452. So if we can get some more, that would be great. This is the SVV. Attrition preparations are next, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get more army readiness. Uh, get more defense. I thought this was going to be attack, but whatever. This one's more defense. I thought it was more attack for some reason. You really get more attrition. Oh, there goes Hitler. Goodbye, Hitler. Have a nice life. Well, I guess you're dead now, but whatever. 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, you know, let's uh, let's just do one. Um, limit rationing testing. Let's go ahead and do ooh, chemical weapons, endurance. We'll I'll do the cheap one. Um, I want at least the cheap one. Hundred. Is there anything for hundred? Okay, psychic testing. Let's see what that does. We are scientists here, and we must must continue our scientific research. So how's the testing going? Up, oh, it's lagging because the German Civil War is firing, and people in Germany right now are having a splendid and magnificent time. Too bad we don't give a crap about it. Excerpts from experiment report 13.2.053. As part of a series of experiments to study non-verbal, non-physical, and entirely mental based or psychic communication between two specimens, two female subjects aged X, 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 respectively, were procured. Uh, procedure. Subjects were allowed, uh, provided a two-day establishment period, in which they were not allowed to be more than five meters apart from each other at any time. This was to ensure a mental link was established. Subjects were then removed and placed in separate chambers, divided by a soundproof wall. Subjects were interviewed twice a day and told to answer the questions the other subject had been asked. Result. Experimentation, or experiment terminated. Researcher. Blank was initially shocked to find that the two subjects began to successfully answer questions they'd only been asked to the other subject after only blank weeks of the process. Researcher Blank was preparing to declare success until an audit found irregularities in the actions of the two subjects. It was eventually discovered that they had somehow convinced the NKVD security guard assigned to sign the experiment to bring the questions from one subject to the other. He did so by listening in one room, writing down the question on a small piece of paper, and then quickly passing it to the subject in the other room by slipping it under the metal door as he pretended to tie the laces of his boots. The experiment was ended, and the guard stripped of all ranks and volunteered as a research subject. Report 13.2.053 over. 23 subjects were rendered unrecoverable by the experiments. His sanity is improved, though. Nice. Ah, the world's falling apart. SVV. Community Key 9.8 from Comrade Lesenko's office has announced the formation of the Setsia Zizbomagalanogo Vorozhenya Auxiliary Armament Section. This dedicated section of our industry industrial capacity will be focused solely on the production of equipment for auxiliary attachments to our primary security forces. Community Key over. The bombing stop, if you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. But those bombings stop, but our new bombings will begin. On spite of that rot. Uh, there you go. An intensive army. Not bad. 69, nice. 14.5, that's good. Not good, but whatever. 75% is pretty good. So is that all we need? Especially after we get up to here. Increase, a new labor force will increase our army effectiveness by 28.76%. So effectiveness. Not readiness, but effectiveness, though. I don't know, we'll see. I'm here to try out different things, so. I want more subjects. I want more subjects. I want to do experiments. You know, I, honestly, I'll be honest. I, we're going to use console commands to annex all this area over here. We're not going to be able to unify the area here, but, like, I want to see what we can do. I really want to see what we can, what we're up to. Oh, as, we can raid them again once they have that stuff, so. We're not bullies. We're just people who love having fun. That's fun. Research. Yeah, science. All in the name of science, my friends. Science for everybody. Yes. Yes. And those who say otherwise, well, we're going to die. But anyways. <sighs> Attrition preparations. I love it. Ah, oh, the world's falling apart. It's not bad. Foreign training. More drill. Market openings. Hmm? Why not? A community key 10.a received from Comrade Lysenko's office has revealed the wondrous market opportunities that have arisen as a result of Comrade Lysenko's new trading policy. Entrepreneurial personnel of all clearance levels are invited to share their thoughts with the Central Magno Magnitogorsk Planning Committee. At times, noted below, community key, once again, over. Nice. Um, that was, uh, yep. Actually, how many guns do we have? We have about 1,000. We're going to lose how many guns? 500? Eventually? I want to see what happens here. A new labor force shall increase our effectiveness, but what does that effectiveness mean? We're despotists. There's Igor Rozhetsky, Viktor Negobotov, and Konstantin Nikitin. Same dudes. What a bunch of dudes. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't raid you? Oh, crap. I don't want to raid these guys, because it'll be pretty tough. I don't want to raid these guys, because they're all mountains, so... Well, looks like our raiding time for right now is over. Bro, that sucks. Limit rationing test? Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, that costs 400. Holy crap, I didn't realize that. 400. 400. Wow. 
the red armor. Uh, except for experiment 11.7.036. As part of an ex uh, experimental project to move the ability of subjects to operate on low nutrition, three male subjects, all aged 19, were selected for experimentation. Procedure. Subjects' rations were slowly reduced over the course of one month until the subjects' intakes were about 600 calories per day. Subjects were made to do a manual tasks such as lifting, running, it, and blank to determine their abilities to do so under the effects of supposed malnutrition. Subjects were to be temporarily restored to standard rations if they appeared to be on the brink of death, after which they would be returned to the lowered rations and the course of the experiment. Uh, results. Uh, subjects uh, B and C consistently failed to perform to each uh, standard task and had to be put on recovery rations blank each times each. These subjects showed standard signs of starvation and malnutrition, and, and upon the, uh, the fourth occasion of return to standard rations, each was removed and terminated. Subjects 7 and 11.a differed and showed extraordinary adaptability, completing 60% more tasks and on average 12% faster than B, the closest runner-up. A had to be restored to regular rations only on a single occasion and recovered faster than the other subjects. Researcher Blank has proclaimed the subject to be a success, and A is now being bred with Blank. Subjects to introduce hunger resistance to the trade pool. Oh. Oh, very nice. So, now we're 80%. I'm not really sure. So, uh, we got to stack the Bureau, actually, man. That's not looking good. We got one thing of loot. We're going to attack the Euro League. His sanity is now up to 58%. We're at 39. We have only 179 subjects, which is god-awful. But we'll probably cheat and get some more stuff there. But, unfortunately, I must end the episode there. But if you enjoyed it... Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else Daddy Trofim Lysenko has in store for the rest of Magnetogorsk. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.